Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you guys how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Now this puzzle may seem impossible to solve, but no, this is possible to solve, trust me. Um, before we actually learn how to solve this cube, we need to know the basics. Like, um, we need to know the pieces and notation. So this is a centerpiece, it never moves. This is an edge piece, this, can, this does move, and it also can be flipped. And this is a corner piece. This can also be turned. But centers cannot move at all. Well, they, you can you can be turn them, but you can't. But they will never go out of their spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Now we need a quick lesson on notation. So this is R R prime U U prime L prime L. Uh, you won't need to know this, but I'll show you anyway. D D prime, and you also won't need to know this anyway, or either. Um, B, B prime. That's all I need to know. Oh, I didn't show you F. Um, F, F prime. But the, um, the algorithms don't really come in until the third layer. Anyway, um, here we go. We're going to scramble up this cube, and we will get started. There we go. That looks good. So the first this first step in solving the Rubik's Cube is getting this first layer cross on the top. Now the way we do this is by getting a green cross. I'm going to be starting on the green um, because I, I always do. If you want to start on another color, you may, but I recommend you start on green so you can follow along more easily. The first thing we want to do is construct this cross here. We already have this right here, so what a cross is it's a centerpiece, but with all four edge pieces around the center, all four green edge pieces. We already have one right here, but this is incorrect here. We need the green part to be with the green center, but we also need the yellow to be with the yellow center. So this is incorrect here. So all we have to do is just turn it. So now the green part is with the green center, and the yellow part is with the yellow center. So this is correct. I'm going to do the same for the other three. So, let's find one here. Here we go. This is the green and uh, orange piece. Now, let's see, we turn this, we break that. And we don't really want that. So, to move it off to the side, then we can move this over to the orange and then move this back. And then, since now the orange is with the orange center, and we can bring it up to the green. So, now you have this L. Next, we here's another one. This is the green and red piece. So this one's easy. We just bring this down to the red and then bring it up to the green. So we just have one left, which is the green and white piece. Here it is. Now again, we want to bring this up to the white without breaking it. So we want to move this so there's nothing over here. Bring, join it with the white, then pull, bring it back. And then blow it up, bring it up. So now we have a completed green cross with all of the other colors aligned with their appropriate center pieces. The next step is to get the top layer corner pieces. Um, we don't want to do it like this though. See this? This is correct here, but this is not. It's not with the right color. It has to be with in, in the right spot. So first, we're gonna work with this one. Now, you have to make sure the green, the corner piece is down here in the bottom layer, and the green part of the corner is facing towards you. Uh, this right here would be incorrect, it's not in the right spot, so it has to be down here. So, um, next, here, here we go. This is the green, white, and orange piece. We want to put it in between the green, white, and orange centers, like this. Now, since this is on the right side, we want to move this off to the side here. Then we want to bring this down, put it back in its slot, and then bring it up. So now it's in the correct spot. See, this is right here with this edge piece, with this edge piece, which is with their centers. Now we have to do that for the other three corners. This is the green, red, and white. It's in the optimal position, that's what it's called. It's not up here, or the green is not facing down. And it's already in between the green, red, and white centers. So we want to move it off the side, bring it down, 
place it in, lift it up. So now we have two of them. Now we have two of them left. See, this is not right. Um, and it's not. It's in the right spot, but it's not turned correctly, and it's not in the optimal position. So if it's up here like this, we want to bring this down, move this, and then bring it up. Now, if it would, the green part would be facing it down. You want to bring the right down. Well, you have to bring it right here, so the green part's facing down. You want to bring it right here, then bring this down. Rotate this twice, and then bring it up, and then it'd be over here. Anyway, um, you can put it in between the green, yellow, and red centers. Move it off the side, bring it down, place it in, lift it up. And we just have one left, and it is right here. It's in the optimal position. Turn it to it's in between the green, orange, and yellow centers. Move it off the side, bring it down, place it in, lift it up. And now our first layer is completed, and our green color is also com completed. Now we have to complete the second layer, which is very easy. All you have to do is place these four edges, and then the second layer will be completed. Now we want to solve for any edge piece that doesn't have blue on it. This one does not have blue. This one does not have blue. But this one does, so we can't use this one. So to solve the middle layer, we want to put this color here, it's red, with the red centerpiece. Now we see this color here, it's white. Now your the white center will either be on the left or it'll be on the right. This is in the right here. Now to place it right here is where it's supposed to go. Bring this up here, this up here. We actually want to put this white piece away from the center. And you want to bring this down, realign to your reds, and lift this up. We realized we've misplaced a corner. That's okay. We can there's a this that's required. Again, it's on the left side, move it away, bring it down, place it in, lift it up. Now it's in the correct spot. We can't use that one, it has blue on it. This one does. This one does not have blue on it. Why not put it with the orange? This is white, and white's over here. So move off to the right, bring this down, place it in, lift it up. So misplaced a corner, move it off, bring it in, or bring this down, place it in, lift it up. So now our this is almost done here. Now we here is the yellow and red. Red is on the right. Move it off. Bring it down. Place it in. Lift it up. In this place the corner. Move it away. Bring it down. Place it in. Lift it up. Now we have one more left. But see, it's already there. It's just not turned. It's just not flipped correctly. So to get this out of here, we actually have to use one of these blue um, edges to get it out of there. So um, it does not have to match this color. It doesn't have to. So to bring this off. Off to the side, bring this down, realign, lift up, misplace the corner, move it away, bring it down, place it in, lift it up. So now it's out of that. So now we can put it back in. Yellow is over here, move it to the left, bring it down, place it in, lift it up, misplace the corner, move it away, bring it down, place it in, lift it up. And now our middle first and second layers are now completed. Now we have to do the third layer. This is where the algorithms start to come in. Now, if you've done the first and second layers completely um, correctly, when you flip over to the bottom layer, you um, actually, I forgot to mention, corners mean nothing to us right now. They don't do anything. Even if they're blue, it doesn't matter. Um, you either get a dot with no edge pieces around it, even if these corners are blue, doesn't matter. You have a dot, or this L shape, which I have. Uh, this line, like this, or a completed cross. Right, I'm going to go back to the L shape like this. This is the L. So when you actually have a dot with no other edge pieces, excluding corners, um, you have to hold the cube any way you want, but if you have this L shape like this, so this is the L, you want to hold it so one end of the L is facing you and the other one is facing to the right. And this is the first algorithm. Again, if it's a dot, hold it any way you want. So this is the algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So now we have this line here, which will form a line. If you had the dot, it would form the L, and you just do the same thing. So, and now when you have this line like this, you want to hold the cube so it's horizontal, which is side to side, and do the same algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Now we have a completed cross. But... We have our cross, but 
Oh, I got lucky. Hold on, guys. Okay, here we go. Um, I have a cross, but see, this is correct, and but this is not correct, or this, or this. So you want to now turn the cube until you have two of these correct. See, the yellow and orange are correct, but the white and red don't match. So when you have this, you want to have the red. You have to have one correct, incorrect edge facing you, and the other one facing toward the right. Um, if you were to have something like this, where um, this is correct, but this back here is also correct, you want to have one facing you and the other one facing the back. But I have this right here, and this is the algorithm. Again, one facing you, other one facing the right. This is the algorithm. R to U, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, and a U prime. So now, the next step is to get our corners in the right spot. Now, when I mean place, I mean like place it so it's in the correct spot. It doesn't have to be turned correctly. This one is, I got lucky. It doesn't ha it didn't have to be like this, but it has to be in the right spot. Now, if you have one that's in the right spot already, so they're going to be zero, one, correct, or f all four of them. There can never be two or three. Um, unless you did it wrong. Um, so if you have one correct edge, you want to place it in this slot right here. Because if it's in this slot, when I do the algorithm, it does not get affected. So this is the algorithm. It's, make sure it's in the right, in this slot. If you don't, then it doesn't matter. So it's um, L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, um, U, R prime, and then a U prime. So now, they're, they're all still incorrect, the other three, except this one. L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime, and U prime. So now they are all correct. These two are correct, or turned correctly. These two are not. We have to turn them. So the algorithm for turning, as this is what it's kind of a long algorithm. R, 2 U, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. No, no, do not do anything. And L prime, 2 U, L, U, L prime, U, L. So now we just have two that need to be turned. So, um, you want to make sure that your two um, incorrect corners are facing towards the right. And do the same algorithm. Um, R, 2U, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. Same thing on the left side. L prime, 2U, L, U, L prime, U, L. And here you go. Congratulations, you just solved the Rubik's Cube. Now, um, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you, I hope you solved your cube. Now, if there are any questions, like, I guess there, there were a few things that I missed with the, like, the corner orientation on the, on the bottom layer. If you have any questions, please comment me or a video response. And I will send it, and I will do a tutorial just for you. Alright, thank you for watching, everybody, and I hope you learned how to solve it.